Hi everyone, I wanted to show you some clothing that I have collected for a new baby I'm expecting. This is a very like collective haul. The first, it's probably around two months old, the stuff that I've got. But I wanted to show you anyway. So the first thing I got a couple of weeks ago, and it's second hand. This is the only thing that I have second hand for her. It's a little knit romper. And it's got blue and pink and then purple and pink and then purple and blue and it's all knitted in different colours and it's by the brand Jack and Millie I think yep and it's just very adorable so there's that and I'm not going to tell you what kit or anything she is but you might be able to tell by some of the clothing then the next things I got from Target these little pink pants, their size newborn, new baby, and they have a little pocket on the butt. And then these onesies, which I adore, they were the last ones left, so I'm very happy to have found them because you can't really find much Hello Kitty stuff in Australia. But there's this one with a little Hello Kitty. With a sparkly bow, a little teddy, and it's got this leopard print around the edge. It's made out of hearts, but it looks like leopard print. And then this one is completely got that print on it, and it's just got plain around the edges. And it says Hello Kitty there. So they are super cute. I especially love this one. And I got the pants to go with this one, but I don't know if it would go, but they were the only pants that they had at the time. And I don't typically have many pants for the babies. They usually have little outfits or something. And this outfit was sent by a doll fan friend. And she also sent me another outfit. But this one I've kept for the new baby. So it's a little panda hat. And a mint green panda bib. And then this little sleeper. It is quite boyish for a girl and it looks quite big. So otherwise I'm going to give it to one of our friends who's having a baby boy. But as you can see it's quite large. But it's very cute. So there's that outfit. And then the rest of the clothing is from Nata J. I don't know how you say it, but yep. And the first couple of outfits uh, were sent to me by another doll friend, friend because I thought that Nata J didn't ship internationally, but it actually does. So yep, this is the first outfit. These pants, this is going to be her coming home outfit. These little pants which are pink with purple polka dots and then they have linen and some crochet kind of detail and then this is the top, I absolutely adore this outfit the lady whose name is Dana, she has very good taste in baby clothes so this is the shirt, it's kind of I don't know the word, it's kind of like pushed out the sides it has a little bird print on it and she it's all different fabrics and then it's got the really pretty crochet cotton kind of accent and they both have the same little print there so the clothing is very thought into at Nada J it's kind of unique you don't really see much of this kind of stuff anywhere else I hope she comes soon because I've been waiting a long time. And then the I agreed to a long time because her the lady who's making her has a quite a long waiting list. So it's these pants. They're pale pink and they have flared legs with different kind of print on there. And then the 
matching shirt which is short sleeve but I'm going to put a little long sleeve shirt underneath or a onesie and it has a dragon's fly on it and these little eyelet sleeves and then it has this matching hat so that is an adorable outfit as well sorry if the lighting's a bit off there's a pretty bird singing in the background don't know if you'll be able to hear it and then these are the items that I purchased off the website I still have everything in their packaging and stuff so it doesn't get all dirty but this is my favourite top it's kind of almost a dress but it's just a tiny bit too short so it has a very pretty pink round hair with a little collar says baby night of day and then I love this part it's got all different layers of fabrics and it's all like joined up here and then it has these purple and pink sleeves and the reason I'm worried about this shirt is because the leggings were sold out when I went to go purchase it so I have no idea what I'm going to put for the bottoms I'll try and find something, but it's kind of a hard thing to match because it's got because the pink's not really pink and the purple's not really purple. So, yeah, I might go with those pants. Oh no, it won't. Okay, so there's that, and then this, which I absolutely love, and it also came in pale pink, but they didn't have that left. But I just love this color. It's a burgundy kind of color collar I mean I don't know what I'm saying and it has a collar on it but it needs ironing it's just a little bit folded and it says the bait the brand and it has a little bow at the chest and very nice the fabrics are all very nice and then it's got tight legs and I don't think this out outfit would be suitable suitable for a real baby I'm getting tongue-tied because there's no poppers here, so they have to take the whole outfit off to change in. So there's only that three little buttons to take off the whole outfit. And then this is my favourite outfit. It's these little pants. Which are pale pink with little floral print on them. And then the matching shirt, which is so cute. It's just got all different prints on it. So I'm very happy to have good lighting for once. It's not, I don't have my flash on or anything, so hopefully you can see the clothing a bit better. And I have to not show a reborn in the video, so here's Serena. Now I have sold her, but to a very good friend so I know she's going to a great home and she is on a layaway for those who are interested but she is adorable because I know some people commented that I'd sold her but I have she's just on layaway she is adorable and her artist does fantastic reading as you can see and I, you can see her details really well on this video, even though the focus is not working. But her, she has kind of subtle motley on her forehead. And her lips are a little moist. And her hands. And this headband is cute. And I got it from a chemist. And it had a light pink and a purple one as well. And Eloise came with one like this except with a flower on it. And she's still in the same outfit as last time. It's about to rain outside. So yeah, thanks for watching. And if you have any video requests, let me know. I did make a video of Eloise for someone who requested. And I will upload that as soon as I have time. I'm just going to upload this directly from my phone. So thanks for watching and we'll talk soon. Bye.